Today's video is about an interesting concept in the realm of social sciences, Dunbar's number. We'll explore how it affects us as we build relationships and coordinate towards a common purpose. Hello all, JT here. Communities play a vital role in various aspects of our lives and Dunbar's number helps us understand that dynamic. And the beauty of this concept lies in its simplicity, 150. That's the upper limit to the amount of people you can hold a meaningful relationship with, the people you know and care about. We see examples of organizations who follow this structure all around us. For instance, the average military company, the tactical sized unit for operations is made up of roughly 150 people. The number of Super Bowl rings given out to the winning team, 150. The average number of wedding invites sent out, just under 150. Even Amish communities will split when their congregation gets much above 150. And when you know to look for it, you'll see this number come up again and again in social circles. When you start getting much above Dunbar's number, the group starts to lose bonding trust and the ability to follow the other members that make it up. They're just strangers. <laughs> Do I know you? And this was the discovery made by the British anthropologist Robin Dunbar. Our cognitive limit of meaningful connections. But the concept behind Dunbar's number doesn't end there, as it can be subdivided into smaller circles of intimacy as well. 150 people in a tribe, the people you know, can be broken down into 50 people or a clan of your real friends. 15 of those people make up your super family. Those are your good friends. And five people make up your most intimate relationships, your immediate family and best friends. Each step into these smaller groups gains significantly more interaction and investment, the majority of which is spent with those five close friends or family. The majority of what's left is spread amongst your 15 good friends and the majority of what's left from that across to your 50 friends. You quickly see how by the time we get to 150 people at Dunbar's Limit, many of them are people you interact or associate with on rare occasions. The quote, I didn't know they had a baby or quote, oh yeah, how's his new job working out? Understanding that, it's no coincidence that many teams consist of groups of five, like five players play for a basketball team, or soccer generally has five or six on defense and five or six on offense. The smallest unit in the military, a fire team, typically consists of five soldiers. These are the most intimate groups for close coordination and are the most productive when your success closely relies on the team working together toward a goal. The big takeaway is as we grow, it is important at a psychological level to keep things small. Have you ever felt as part of a large community that you don't matter or that everyone is lost in the noise? Or how about being overwhelmed trying to keep track of who's doing what? I have eight different bosses right now. A big pardon? Eight bosses. Eight? Eight, Bob. So that means that when I make a mistake, I have eight different people coming by to tell me about it. Rather than try to interact as a community of a thousand strangers, it's important to identify groups that can exist below 150 individuals to have healthier interactions. And most importantly, when it comes to building lasting and productive relationships, being able to have specific goals within groups of five will work more effectively to break out and work those issues. These small and focused teams can then rejoin the larger team with clearer results. This helps fight large group paralysis by analysis. How can you use the Dunbar's number to better organize the people you are working with? How can it change how you relay information or interact with a community? Have you experienced failure of too many people trying to fix a problem? Let us know in the comments below. On behalf of Green Pill, my name is JT. Cheers and big hugs from Kansas City. Hey, that was fun. I'm glad you watched all the way to the end.
Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out all of these amazing videos and be sure to hit some likes and leave us some comments. We want to hear what you're thinking. Better yet, join our Discord. Find us at greenpill.network and let's get coordinated. Thank you.